and go to right. archive. I appreciate it. And, and we want to uh, you know, make, you can always edit. Okay. And highlight. Rip some stuff and credit and, you. And, and, and all, always put the link. Yep. Share it uh, so more people see your comments or uh, whatever. I will see you all day doing this. Okay. I will. I appreciate yes. it. And last question maybe. Uh, uh, right now, let's say somebody comes here and start attack live stream, telling me uh, I don't want to be on camera and sitting in front of the middle of people, so making my uh, live stream impossible. What would you say about that? I mean, if you're out here in public, I would, you know, I would generally try to respect people's wishes. I wouldn't walk up to a group I didn't know and just start filming them. I would say, hey, do all the. You know, but if, if we're out here, and I mean, everybody that's here now it has uh, no expectation of privacy. You know, we're out in the public, and, uh, you know, we know that we're being recorded probably for multiple cameras. There's a federal building across the street, so, you know, it's it's just, it goes along with being in the city, I guess. And, uh, you know, with that being said, the difference between, like, I would definitely respect and uh, acknowledge the wishes of somebody who says, hey, I don't I don't want to be recorded right now, if, if uh, their salaries would be being paid by theft, which are, you know, government employees, and those folks have no expectation of privacy. Uh, so, if, you know, for example, if you walked up to a scene and there was a police officer, you know, interacting with somebody, I would encourage you to film yeah. that, because I know if, if I were in that situation, I know I'd want someone to film it just in case, and I hope, you know, people see the value in that as well. From there. But uh, police state works in different ways. Mm -hmm. They can always send someone like, like you and me, mm -hmm. sit here and Try to harass me, telling me I don't want to be on cameras. You know, go away. Well, tell him. I mean, what a demo says in those situations, he says, "I'll give the option of, of whether I record you when you give me the option of if I have to pay your salary." So, and, until that day comes, until they no longer operate on this legitimate right to use force, which is everybody who lives in Manchester right now is has a, a you know, a very literally has a gun to their head to pay the, the salaries of these people who claim to work for them. And, and then they, for them to turn around and say, you don't have the right to film me, is ridiculous. Because, you know, their, their, whole, their whole duty, supposedly, is to provide goods and services. When, in, in reality, those of us that look a little bit deeper and just scratch the surface and, and, or, or that have been negatively impacted by their actions know that, uh, their, that their actions are driven by their own self-interest to grow and expand their size and scope and authority and you know we see what kind of negative impact that has when they when that happens so we're just trying to um, you know advocate for a peaceful prosperous society where individuals don't have where no one has extra rights and the fact that today some people operate like they think they they do is uh, just a bad idea so we're just trying to, to, to uh, point that out and replace it with better ideas so it's like uh, pointing a gun to people's head and asking tax, mm -hmm. and then in the meantime, the well, same people will try to film how this is going, how this is working. They say no, we put you in jail. You they try to sometimes, but uh, you know it's good to see. I mean, most anybody that's familiar with the details of this situation, or just in general about do you have the right to film a public employee. You know, most everyone says you do, and it, and that's for good reason because that's commonsensical and it makes sense. And you know, if you lose that ability, then that leaves you in a pretty bad situation. If you look historically, the kind of societies where the the government agents, the people who, who claim to work for you, claim to have those extra rights, you know, can lead to some very bad things. So uh, that's why it's important at every iteration to stand up and point it out, and not and not just uh, let it happen blindly. Ninety-nine point nine percent of that law. If I'm a police state and I want to crush the uh, people's movement, I would send, send them uh, undercover infiltrators mm -hmm. uh, to really target the uh, information, right. control the information, right. and scare the streamers, you know, right. and tell streamers, you can't work here, I don't want to be on camera, go away, why are you coming here, why are you filming this? I mean, if there's infiltrators, like I would say, whatever. I would almost welcome them because I, you know, we have nothing. I have nothing to hide. My actions are transparent. I'm not assaulting anybody. I'm not wronging anybody. And I would hope that if they were to try to infiltrate, you know, myself and my friends, they would see like, hey, these guys are actually pretty cool and they're, they're good people, and and maybe they would start to be more open-minded to those ideas of, uh, of consensual interactions instead of 
uh, using force to try to bring about the desired ends. So, you know, it, it's not a surprise it's going to happen. Obviously, they want to maintain and, and grow their authority, their claimed authority. But, you know, all I'd say is I'm not, I have nothing to be scared of. I'm not doing anything wrong. So I'm going to continue to, to advocate for, uh, you know, 100% freedom and responsibility, not just, you know, for government agents, but myself and everybody else. So, so you don't have to be uh, paid by public to be, uh, you know, to be public servant. Right. So, so yeah, our friends down in uh, Austin started this outfit called the Peaceful Streets Project, and their tagline is protect and serve each other, which I think is very powerful. That's what we try to do. You know, we're all looking out for each other's backs, and that's what I tell some of these police officers I interact with. I said, I know, like, this, uh, the Adamo situation, to go back to that, he's, he's being threatened with 21 years in a cage for essentially coming to an aid of a teenage teenager who was assaulted by an adult. And what I would say in that situation, if I saw an adult out here assault a teenager that has happened at West High, I would I would definitely at least go over there and say, hey, what are you doing? And maybe if it, if it became worse, I would try to come to this person's aid. You know, whether it's a uh, high school student or, you know, somebody who's, you know, can't defend themselves, I'd say. But, and I would hope that someone would do the same for me, you know, and, and because this guy, Darren Murphy, so far has been given a free pass because he, he happens to wear a badge. He happens to be employed as, as a Manchester police officer. Uh, other people aren't holding him accountable, or a lot of people haven't, and, and those are, uh, you know, folks, again, who claim to claim to be looking out for your best interests and who claim the right to take your money to, to do that. And it's uh, very ludicrous, you know, for anybody who stops and looks at the situation for any, any moment of time. Is there any difference between uh, somebody who gets the money to do civil servant or somebody like me? Um, I'm doing this uh, service to the humanity or the uh, freedom of speech, but I'm not taking any uh, tax dollars. Right. Uh, do, do we, uh, sh don't you think we should have the same rights and responsibilities? Yeah, we definitely. I mean, I would say every, every person, no matter what, what they have, where they happen to be born, or what color they happen to be born with, or where they happen to be employed or not employed, everyone has the same rights. Uh, the difference is, you know, you're going, to, you're going about your business and doing it uh, peacefully in a consensual interactions. And people who work for the government, even if they uh, go into it with good intentions to to help people, at the end of the day, the, the institution they're working for is flawed at its core because it's operating according to these perverse incentives that say, I have the right to steal from you to then protect you. So they're, they're violating the rights to then sort of claim to protect them. So there's no way that that can ever happen. And furthermore, they work for these, the goods and services that they provide, uh, they claim a monopoly over them. They say, we're the only people that can provide you with law enforcement or fire protection or this or that. And when, when in reality, that means that that good or service, even if it's in, in demand, you know, most people want to be safe and secure. Uh, they, it, it grows to be an oversupply. There's an, more of a supply than it actually is demanded because they they have no check, they have no competition. So they just continue to take money from people and then hire more. They have no wow. metrics, no marketing signals to say what they're doing is successful or not. So instead they hire more people. They have more, they say more actions are illicit to then uh, lock more people up and make more arrests. And then you see, instead of actually targeting people that actually create victims, say people who rape, steal or murder, they go after people who do a lot of victimless offenses, like uh, my friend on his Never Take a Plea card points out, you know, all these all these offenses have no victim yet, you know, and, and just like a demo, his, his alleged offense has no victim, and in fact, he's he's doing a, what I'd say is a service because he's helping uh, bring some accountability to the situation. So, and again, it, it comes down to the, the nature of the institution and stuff, and so it's uh, what the one that government agents act by today is, uh, is not one that I support. Let's say I work for government and uh, my department is freedom of speech. And yeah, I mean, ludicrous, but yeah. let's say that's it. And then 